Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we are discussing the K-1 visa, specifically in the context of Thailand. We're talking about Thai name changes, and boy, name changes can be a major documentation issue in K-1 visa cases because, quite honestly, Thais change their names a lot. They feel like a name's unlucky. Oftentimes, they'll go to the temple, ask the monks for a name that it has more luck affiliated with it or sort of more gravitas, whatever, and they will change their name. This, this happens fairly frequently. Namsakun changes, you know, surname changes happen from time to time as well. The, uh, this may especially be the case where you're dealing with somebody who's had prior husbands, or it, usually it's a female. I, I, I don't really see it so much when the gender roles are flipped. The, but yeah, these name change documentations, th this can be something that can really, oftentimes it's something that slows up processing because you've either got to go get them, you've got to get them translated, this type of thing. And long story short, that can, be, that can take a lot of time. And it can, be, it can be kind of difficult sometimes to get the original documentation. The thing to take away from this video is to understand, yeah, if you've got multiple name changes or even one name change, you do need to deal with that documentation during the process of obtaining the K-1 visa. And if you're kind of unfamiliar with how this all works or you don't really understand how to get that documentation or where to get it, it may not be a terrible idea to contact a legal professional, gain some insight and guidance into how best to proceed.